Okay, welcome everyone. This is lesson 131 on angle pair relationships. Uh, in this lesson, uh, we're going to be looking at, um, or it's the beginning of a long list of angle relationships uh, we'll be looking at in this chapter, uh, and you'll be using throughout uh, most of the school year. And so, uh, some of these you might have seen already, maybe you didn't know there was some names for them. So uh, we're going to go through these. I've, I have um, some definitions, um, some kind of abbreviated, abbreviated definitions, um, and some examples for you as well. Uh, so I'll be I'll be talking about these uh, maybe while you're uh, if you're copying these down, um, you could just kind of hopefully follow along. All right. So the first is complementary angles, uh, and so complementary angles would be two angles uh, whose measures, right, when we're talking about actual measurements, um, they sum up to 100, I'm sorry, they sum up to 90 degrees, right? So uh, sum meaning we're just adding up those two angles and the total is 90 degrees, all right? So you should be already familiar with uh, 90 degrees or right angles, we've seen these before. And so in this example, uh, we kind of see one of those and so here's angle ABD, which is a right angle. And so if I actually draw in a ray uh, BC, right, or even just a line through it, BC, um, you'll notice it cuts this right angle into two pieces. Now it's possible those two pieces or those two angles could be the same measurement, uh, but we don't know, right? So in this example, they specifically told us, well, they're, they're not going to be the same. One of them is 76 degrees. Question is, what is the other angle? All right, so what we do know is that together they form this 90 degree angle. So if I was going to set up uh, an equation to solve this, which is a pretty simple one, uh, but this would be an example of maybe some type of work I would expect um, you to write out. And so in this case, I'm using this definition to help me write this equation. So I know that x and 76, if I add them together, they should equal to 90 degrees. So that's basically what this equation says. x plus 76 is supposed to equal to 90 degrees. So once I have that set up, now, I, now we bring in our algebra skills to solve this. So you could see that I've subtracted 76 from both sides, right? Whatever we do to one side of the equal sign, we do to the other. And so when we solve this, x is equal to 14 degrees. So now we could say officially, we know what x is, but more specifically, we know what the measurement of angle ABC is. So that's A, B, C. All right, so that's the name of the angle, uh, the official name of the angle, and the measurement is x, all right, so which we said was 14 degrees. All right, so that's an example of a problem you might see, test question. That's a very common, simple test question. And so the same thing applies to supplementary angles. And so supplementary angles, uh, and vertical angles will be the next two. I'll move that up for you. And so supplementary angles uh, are two angles whose measures, again, we're talking about measurements, they have a sum of 180 degrees. So these are not adding up to 90 anymore, they're adding up to 180, right? So it's twice as big. All right, so this is what we also call um, a straight angle. So this line here, you'll notice there's a straight line, a linear, and so, yeah, a line, and we have this other line, PM, that kind of cuts that line into two angles. And so if I take these two angles, and together they form this straight angle. Right? So this, that's another name you need to be familiar with, uh, adjacent supplementary angles. Right? So two angles, that are stuck right next to each other, 
that form a straight line. All right, also known as a linear pair. Pair meaning there's two and linear meaning straight line. All right, so in this example, uh, we're told that this angle LMP is 62 degrees. So then the question would be, what is the other angle equal to? Well, if I know together they're supposed to add up to 180, then I could set up an equation. So measurement of angle LMP, LMP plus 62. Oh, wait, I think this is wrong. All right, let me fix this for you guys. All right, so this is going to be, I have the wrong letters here. So this is, um, I don't want LMP, I want uh, NMP, right, NMP. So N, oops, NMP, all right, that's better. Okay, so NMP, that's this angle, plus 62, that's this other angle, Right, so this angle and this angle should add up to 180 degrees. And so when we solve that, uh, we're left with um, an MP. Right, I need to fix this also. So N N M P. All right. So N M P is equal to 118 degrees. Right, which makes sense if you think about it. This looks a lot bigger than 62. So 118 degrees versus the 62 degrees, uh, those numbers make sense. And then vertical angles um, are angles that are opposite of an intersection point. So in this case, we have two lines that intersect. Right? Kind of looks like a big X. And so when they intersect, this we call this an intersection point. And so if we could find two angles opposite of the intersection point. So in this case, I've highlighted in green, these what angles would be opposite of each other. Uh, and in yellow, those would also be opposite of each other. So in this case, we actually have two pairs of vertical angles. All right, so anytime you see intersecting lines like this, right away you should say, I have vertical angles, right? And so what we're going to see is how are they related? All right. So um, I think I'll mention it here. So in this case, one thing that we know about vertical angles is that these angles are actually the same measurement, right? So uh, we just finished talking about supplementary angles. So for example, um, these two angles would be supplementary. So the question is, if I know the measurement of one of these angles, can I figure out uh, the other measurements? So uh, let's see, let's choose an angle measurement. Uh, for this one. So if I say um, this angle at the bottom is, uh, let's just make this easy, this is 60 degrees. So if this is 60 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, then that means the other vertical angle that it's paired up with would equal to the same thing. Why is that so? Well, if if I think about it, this, these two angles together should form 180 degrees because it's a supplementary. So that must mean that this angle over here has to be 120 degrees. Right? So this, these two should add up to 180. Well, if this one's 120, then to complete this straight angle supplementary, then that one has to be 60 degrees. Oops, 
this one has to be 60 degrees. So in this case, I would say x equals to 60 degrees. All right, so that's kind of an example of vertical angles, and we'll see uh, a lot of those coming up. Um, so um, in this next problem, we're actually going to go into that a little bit more detail. So uh, a name that uh, you need to be familiar with, and I think this has come up before, is congruent angles, or the term congruent we've seen before. Um, so congruent means equal measurements. So if I'm talking about congruent angles, I'm saying these angles must have equal measurements. Right? So their measurements are going to be the same. So like we just finished talking about, if we notice in this example, here we have vertical angles. So if I ask you which angle pairs are congruent, you should be able to give me the names uh, of the matching pairs. So in this case, uh, angle AED, AED should match up with this vertical angle right below it. So this would be CEB. All right, and like I mentioned earlier, not only do we have one pair of vertical angles, but we also have a second pair. All right, in this case, AEC, which is this angle on the sign, and then DEB. All right. So those would be examples of our vertical angles. And so I have a couple more, I have a few more examples to go through. Uh, this one's a little bit long because I feel like these examples um, are really good. Um, they're common test questions that you see. Um, so I, I feel like you need these examples in your notes. All right, so I have these worked out for you, so it uh, should be easy to just copy those down as is. Um, but I'm, I'm still going to explain them. I'll try to go through it really quick. Um, so in this first example, I'm looking for measurement, uh, measurement of angle M and P. So in this case, I'm looking for this measurement here. All right, so I notice inside we don't actually have degrees in here. We have these terms, 3x and 7x, all right? But that's okay because um, either way we're going to end up setting, it, setting up an equation to solve. So, so I notice, I look at the picture, and I say, oh, this is a linear pair. These are supplementary angles. So that means I could set up an equation, 7x plus 3x, Right? That's just me adding up these two angles. And I know that supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. So therefore, I'm going to set this equation equal to 180. Once the equation is set up, now you're just using your algebra skills to solve. So this will tell us what x is equal to. So you'll notice the question doesn't say what is x. It says what is the measurement of the angle. So if I know what x is, then I could plug in this 18 into um, the term 3x, and it'll tell me the measurement of the angle. So I have that written here. So the measurement of the angle is equal to 3 times x, which in this case is 18. So that means the measurement of the angle is actually equal to um, 54. All right, uh, same thing with uh, the second example to the right. You'll notice the right angle again. We kind of we saw this already. This is why I like to do this example because it's from the almost the same picture from earlier. Um, you should notice um, the right angle, and this right angle is being cut into two angles. So, and they kind of don't look the same, but they could be. We just don't know enough yet. And so, these two angles that add up to 90 degrees, we call them complementary angles. We saw that earlier, which means I could add these. So here's 2x minus 4 plus x plus 7. Those are the two angles. And because they're complementary, I could say they equal to 90. And then at that point, we're just going to solve that equation. So combine like terms. I already have them highlighted. 2x and x give you 3x. And then this negative 4 and the positive 7 give you a positive 3. 
All right. And so we continue that process, solving, subtract 3 from both sides, and then divide by 3 gives us x equals to 29 degrees. All right. And so the last step would be, if I'm trying to figure out dBC, would be to plug it in. So that would be x plus 7. That's 29 plus 7. So 29 plus 7 gives us 36 degrees. All right. So that is uh, those examples. All right. So there's a couple more uh, you could try. Uh, I'll hold off on going over those. If you want me to go over those uh, in class, you could uh, mention that or send me a message and I could show you how to do these. But these would be two uh, good problems to practice. Um, not too difficult. I'll just give you some guides here. I'll say you'll notice these. Two, this is not a right angle. This is not a right angle, but these two angles are the same. So here's a hint. These two measurements are going to be equal to each other. So uh, if you want, I'll set that up for you. Um, and then you would solve that to figure out not just what X is, but what, what measurement of FGH is. All right. And then the last one has, I'll give you a hint, we have vertical angles in the picture. Uh, but we also have supplementary angles. So just because there's intersecting lines, you're always going to have not only vertical, but you also have supplementary. So that's a good place to use maybe supplementary. All right, uh, that's it for uh, this lesson. Uh, hopefully it was understandable. Thanks.